Okay guys, welcome to uh, the recap tutorial video. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier than uh, the previous ones. There's a couple of little techniques I'll explain uh, before we get into it. Uh, so before we start, I just wanna reiterate, uh, just based on some of the feedback I've been getting from these videos, um, you're not meant to be able to sit down and just play through one of these videos. A lot of people have been telling me that, you know, it's the medium and the fast parts are way too fast. Uh, yeah, they, they are way too fast and you're going to have to build up to those slowly. So there's going to be a lot of practice uh, just yourself with a metronome and with the tab. Uh, the purpose of the video is to show you exactly how each part is played, right? So uh, maybe you're playing through the tab and you get to a part and you just think, how the heck is he? How, how is he doing this? I don't understand the technique in this part. Then you can open up the video. You can watch it slow, medium and fast. Um, you might even find that the slow tempo uh, is too fast for you. If that's the case, um, get a metronome. You can get free metronome apps on your phone. Set it to a tempo that's even uh, less than the slow, uh, the slow part of the tutorial video and just start there, right? And consult the video when you need to see what the left hand and right hand fingers are doing. Uh, so just keep that in mind. These are 10 minute videos, but these might be months long projects for you, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, so don't get discouraged. Uh, okay, so a few things before we start. Um, the chorus of this song is played in uh, what's called shuffle feel. Um, I explained this a little bit in the blue trash video because the blue trash chorus also does the same thing. Uh, but what shuffle feel means is that uh, the notes are going to be alternating in length instead of having just a consistent length uh, note throughout the entire part. So for example, uh, in this song, the chorus sounds like this, the chorus banjo part. Okay, that's in shuffle feel. If it was in standard feel or not shuffle feel, whatever you want to call it, it would sound like this. See, the notes are all the exact same length in that version. Whereas with the shuffle feel, it's like a longer note, slightly longer note, followed by a slightly shorter note, followed by a slightly longer, slightly shorter note. I hope that makes sense. So the difference is between... versus... Okay, so anytime you see this symbol, uh, that's telling you to start the shuffle feel. And when you see this symbol, that means go back to normal. Uh, you'll notice that when we do the triplets in the chorus, uh, that's noted as standard feel or shuffle feel off, if you prefer. Um, that's because when we're doing the triplets, the triplets are all the exact same length. All those those notes in the triplets are all just ta 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 They're consistent in length. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. So just pay close attention to those symbols when you're uh, uh, when you're looking at the tab. Um, another tricky part in this song, uh, again the chorus, um, is you're going to be playing the multiple, or sorry, you're going to be playing the same string multiple times in a row, which is something that's quite rare for the banjo. Uh, typically with the banjo, the three fingers are playing different notes all the time. Sorry, different strings, right? So we're alternating. I'm going from first, second, sorry, third, second, first, fifth. It's quite rare that you'll play the same string multiple times in a row, but that's what we're doing in this song. So again, in the chorus, we're playing. We're playing those notes on the B string, right? This is gonna feel really, really tricky at first. Uh, so if you're having a hard time with this, just use your index and middle finger. Don't even worry about a fret. Just pick a string and just practice playing that same string consecutively uh, with your thumb and with your index finger. Right. Uh, it will feel strange at first, but with practice, it's like anything with practice, you'll get it. 
Um, and the final thing is that this song is played in open G minor tuning with a capo on the second fret, which puts it into open A minor. Um, if you have a fifth string capo or a spike in your banjo, you can just spike the fifth string at the second fret. Or if you don't have a fifth string capo or spikes in your banjo, you can tune your uh, open fifth string up from a G up to an A. So uh, this one, the verse I'm doing slow, uh, medium, and up to speed tempos. Uh, because the chorus already has the halftime feel to it, um, I'm just going to do the chorus at a slower speed and an up to speed tempo. Uh, so three different tempos for the verse, uh, two different tempos for the chorus, and the bridge, which is mostly just a strum like that with a, a couple extra notes, I'm only going to do that one up to speed because it's very slow anyway. Okay? Uh, and besides that, yeah, we're playing three three finger style, three finger picks, and I think that's everything, so enjoy.
Okay, uh, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Um, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, you can leave a comment at the bottom of this video. Um, again, I'm not the best at following all of the YouTube comments. Uh, the better way to reach out to me is to find me on Instagram. Um, I'm at the Colton Crawford. Uh, just send me a message on there if you have any questions and I'll do my best to get back to you right away. Uh, thanks and stay tuned for more.